I'm joined now by a new and fresh face to the athletic staff here at UNH, but not new to the Athletic America East Conference. So welcome to UNH. I know you spent the last eight years at um, Stony Brook, so it's kind of interesting to get your take on what it is, um, how the transition is transferring from you know, one team in the conference to another. I know you were very successful at Stony Brook. You helped them um, have their first America East championship and national NCAA berth into the tournament. So talk a little bit about your transition here. No, thank you very much. And, and, and Wildcat Country has been awesome so far. Really excited to be here and a lot of great people. But, you know, first and foremost, it's uh, it's maybe the same thing but a little different too. You're in conference, you know the conference, but you know being on this side of the fence now as opposed to being at Stony Brook at UNH, it's a wonderful place, but there are a lot of differences as well. You're getting to know a new team. Uh, the girls are working very hard. Uh, we always say it's about the conference as well. There's a lot of parity. It's very wide open. A lot of very good coaches. Obviously, Sue Ryan has been there a long time, close to 30 years now, and a lot of success there. And again, like I said earlier, you know, a great mentor to me. And I always see that program continue to get better and better. And we want to do that here at UNH. So um, a, lot of, a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences as well. And we're going to try to keep making things better here every day for us at women's soccer. Sure. I know you've only been here for a few months, but what are some of your first impressions? And what are you looking forward to with the team this year? Well, first impressions right away, like I said, the girls are working very hard. They're extremely coachable. It's a great group. They're buying in. Uh, they really want to continue to succeed and get better every day. Um, so we talk a lot about having good, hardworking, honest players on our team and doing the right thing and playing a certain brand of soccer. We really want to have a distinctive UNH women's soccer team, a very proactive team versus a reactive team, wanting to go after our opponent and being a you know, ball possession, dynamic, pressing team. That's the type of team we want to get to. So we're, we're building to that every day. And, you know, it's, it's fun. It's a young team right now. Mm -hmm. We're probably playing anywhere between six and seven freshmen and sophomores. Uh, and you can look up at the field at any one point and see probably about seven underclassmen on the field. So uh, right now the future is, is good right now, but also the future I think is very bright. Sure. You led me right into my next question. You have three strong but younger goaltenders, too, and five seniors yeah. who I'm sure have a huge leadership role on this team. What do you see in them, and how can they mentor this team moving forward? Because now for the next couple of years, you'll have a strong squad with the, this younger team. You know, great points, a really good question. You'll start with the, the first part of that, the three young goalkeepers, a lot of talent. I think we have a very strong young goalkeeping core, and right now Mimi's at the forefront of that, and she's playing extremely well. It doesn't mean that, you know, Danny and me are not playing well because they are. And one thing about the goalkeeping position is that only one can play, uh, and I'm sure if they keep working hard, their opportunity can come as well. But all three of them are doing very well. We're very happy. It's a very consistent and strong group. Uh, I could see those two of those girls easily playing at a lot of other Division One programs. Uh, I think with our senior core, that five, the, the, that group of five that you mentioned, uh, the two co-captains and Jenna Shattuck and Megan Ledwith are really leading by example and having a good leadership and impact on the team. So we want to see that group continue to lead us and also uh, help you know really bring along this younger group and just lead us in a positive direction. And I know they want this very, very badly. They want to do a very, you know, have a very good senior year. A big win earlier this week over Bryant. Congratulations. Thank you. Moving forward into the weekend, you have Siena this weekend. How can you carry the momentum and what is the team, what are you making the team focus on going into that game? Well, I think that's, you know, it's a great point. I think it's all about every single day and what we're doing to make ourselves better daily. And we've been seeing this. We've been seeing a big shift in momentum. Um, the girls have really put in a lot of work, but we've improved quite a bit every day since preseason. This result was coming against Bryant. We felt it. We felt it against UMass. We could have gone down there and, and stole that game. It was 2-1 to one in double overtime. Uh, we've been in every single game, like we said, and that second half when we played Holy Cross, we hit the crossbar twice. Keeper made some good saves, so we've been there. Uh, and this has been building. Our momentum's building. I think they feel it. They see the positive impact. They see the change. Uh, and we just want to get better and better, and, and that's coming. And I think that is you hit the nail on the head. You want to really grab this momentum and take it into the next game against Siena, and we're going we're gonna to do that Sunday. Absolutely. Expectations for the rest of the season? Well, again, keeping on improving, uh, that's a big thing, and I think the process will take care of the outcome. Uh, we want to be in a good position to compete, uh, and you know, we'd love to be in that top group of the American East schools and, and you know, get a home seed for the playoffs. That's something we're going for. We are going for the playoffs, and uh, we want to make a run there. So um, we want, again, make it hard for teams to come in here and compete, and we're going to be a very tough team to beat on the road as well. Absolutely. Well, nice to meet you. Welcome to UNH, and good luck to the rest of the season. Thank you very much.